Hey, Dragon Slayers. Tonight will be the last night that I don't have my glucose uh, monitor. I'm going to put one in tomorrow so that I can sync back up because I like to change them every two Fridays. It's just a preference. But uh, tonight's video is all about our whole wheat and whole grain breads healthy. Uh, whole wheat and whole grain breads aren't the health foods that most people think they are. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos uh, in the My Mistakes play series where I talk about how, you know, I used to eat whole grain bread pretty frequently because I thought, you know, whole grains, like, that's, that's healthy. But it's not as healthy as you think. Many loaves are packed with high fructose corn syrup and molasses, and especially those that are marketed as honey whole wheat. Uh, even the king of healthy breads, Ezekiel bread, still isn't all that healthy from a metabolic perspective. So I use an example, many of you have probably heard of Wonder Bread, which is kind of your classic standard white bread. So I looked up the nutrition facts for Wonder Bread, and it shows that, um, let's see here, the serving size for Wonder Bread is two slices. In those two slices, you get 29 grams of carbs and two grams of fiber. So that's a net of 27 net grams of carbs. So pretty high carb for a single meal. You could blow, if you're trying to do a ketogenic diet, which is typically under 20 grams of carbs, carbs you could blow your entire day's worth of carbs in just those two slices of bread alone. Now, if we compare that to Ezekiel's sprouted 100% whole grain bread, and it's all organic ingredients, the serving size is one slice. But let's be realistic. Who only eats one slice of bread? To me, that alone is deceptive mar marketing and, and trickery in their advertising. So I'm using their two slice value because you're going to use two slices of bread on a sandwich. You're going to use two slices of bread on a burger. You're probably going to eat two pieces of toast in the morning. The vast majority of people, when they eat bread, they have two slices. So if you look at it, they've got 30 grams of carbs and six grams of fiber. So it's 24 net grams of carbs uh, in that bread. And the white bread, or the one, the standard Wonder Bread, was 27 net grams. Three grams of carbs less is not all that healthy. From a metabolic perspective, and if you're tracking your blood sugar, you'll be able to easily see this, right? Like, like go eat two slices of Wonder Bread, track your blood sugar, see what happens. Go eat two slices of Ezekiel Bread, track your blood sugar, see what happens. You're going to have almost the exact same glycemic effect. Now, some could argue, well, the Ezekiel bread has more vitamins. That's also not necessarily true. So I actually made a chart and I shared in the description below just a quick breakdown of the nutrition facts for each one as far as the vitamins, minerals, nutrients that are in them. So the white bread has substantially more calcium. Now, they do fortify this bread, like they're adding vitamins to it. But the white bread has 360 milligrams of calcium, which is 30% of your daily value per every two slices. Ezekiel bread has zero. Uh, the white bread has, the Wonder Bread has 15% uh, of your daily vitamins, uh, daily requirement for iron. It's 2.3 milligrams. The Ezekiel bread has one, which is one milligram, which is 6% of your daily value. Ezekiel bread has, or sorry, the Wonder Bread has 15% of your daily value of vitamin D. The Ezekiel bread has zero. Uh, Nicin, again, the Wonder Bread wins out. It's got 15% of your daily value. The Ezekiel bread, I guess actually the Ezekiel bread is the same. They're the same. So it's, they're both 15%. Uh, thymine, Wonder Bread kicks it again. It's got 30% of the daily value, whereas the Ezekiel bread only has 8%. And then when you look at the folates, the white bread has 30% and the Ezekiel bread has 4%. So in the top, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the top seven vitamins and nutrients, the Wonder Bread is actually healthier, which is crazy. It's got three more carbs, 
per net grams of carbs, but it has actually more <laughs> vitamins. Now the Wonder Bread does have a few things that the Ezekiel bread or the Ezekiel bread has a few things that the Wonder Bread does not. Like it's got a little bit of phosphorus, 6% phosphorus, 6% daily value of magnesium, uh, 35% manganese and 25% uh, selenium. So it does have a few other things, but neither of them are great. And that's kind of the whole point of this. It's best to avoid bread altogether if you're trying to eat a low carb diet. And if you really need bread, gotta have bread, then try making a keto bread yourself. I put a link in the description below for one that you can check out that I think is pretty great. And that's what I've got for you guys today. And remember that together you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.